Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also gonna let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free, and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below, and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. I want to start out with the idea of what is it about our gut, our nervous system, our inner workings uh, that are so important for us to understand and bring into alignment today. You have to remember that your gut basically is the only opening to the body. So it starts literally from the mouth and goes to the anus. It's just like, think of just a big water hose that goes from one end to the other. So it's how things can get into the body that we don't want in there, okay? And we have to have mobility and motility through that to be able to get things out that don't belong. We need to be able to absorb things in that we want in. And it's just a way of checks and balance for the body. And there's been so much research um, recently about how many different things that the gut really is the brain. They start to call the gut now the second brain because the gut has its own nervous system, its own private nervous system. And we're going to talk about it where literally there's nerve bundles in the wall of the digestive system all the way from that mouth to the anus again. And if these things aren't kept in check and the lining is only one cell thick, that's probably the biggest piece of this. So everybody likes to talk about leaky gut. Well, it's because it's one cell thick. So as those cells maybe begin to have a little bit of a gap, then things can leach through there into other parts of the body. And so that can create autoimmune, that can create bloating, that can create sepsis, it can create all kinds of different things, inflammation. Because it has its own nervous system, then it's also attached to the rest of your nervous system. Well, then when toxins build up and they don't, aren't able to make their way out properly, it can back up all the way and send signals to the brain and create inflammation in the brain. So there's a lot of people that have different mood issues, such as depression and anxiety, and it actually is from the gut. Because you also produce a whole bunch of serotonin. 95% of the serotonin receptors are found in the gut, not in the brain. And your microbiome, your bacteria in the gut, are what controls all of that. So what I really want everybody to hear is that your gut controls so many other systems, and that's why this is such an important topic. Let's define a few things, because you mentioned serotonin, and some people might not be sure what that is or what that can do for us. Tell us a little bit about serotonin and why it may be important to have certain levels of that. Serotonin is one of the most important hormones and neurotransmitters because it regulates your mood and social behavior, your sleep patterns, memory, sexual desire, so it's in charge of a lot of things. So once the serotonin levels are, are thrown off for some reason, you know, think of your teenager, uh, that, that we call them hormonal sometimes, right? Mm. Well, what if it's mm. because their serotonin levels are going crazy? Then they socially start to behave different. Their sleep patterns change. As we get older, we probably notice more of the sleep and the memory issues or the sexual desire more. Okay, but they're all related. They all come from one of the same neurotransmitters. And there's 30 other neurotransmitters. And neurotransmitters are just chemical messengers that they go from nerve to nerve or from nerve to muscle or nerve to organ to tell them what to do. And there's 30 other ones that the gut produces. So other than the brain, the gut produces the majority of the little chemical messengers that tells your entire body what to do and when. 
Mm. And if we're low in serotonin or that is not, you know, coming in the way that it should, what's what does it look like in our in our day to day life? Again, it can bring on depression and anxiety. You can have children, especially with some of the ADD, kind of ADHD symptoms with Mm. their social behavior changes. You can have insomnia or even the opposite, narcolepsy, where you're just kind of falling over from fatigue during the day. So fatigue, and that's a huge one that I'm sure that you hear that from, from your community. I certainly hear that from mine a lot. And then, again, those memory issues where all of a sudden it's like you just can't seem to remember something. And we always want to look at the brain and we always want to look at at the nervous system, and it's not always the culprit. So yeah, you said five percent of the serotonin receptors are found in the gut itself. That that's an astounding fact. I did not realize that. Yeah. Wow. And they say that a sluggish gut creates a sluggish brain. That's what I want you guys to remember. Wow. Wow. Well, there is a lot here to cover, and we're going to be talking about all of it. And we've got a bunch of questions, so send them in, and we're going to do some one-on-one readings. Um, you know, as you've talked with this with me privately, you talked about something called uh, dysbiosis. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. Dysbiosis. Tell me about that. That that's a imbalance of the gut flora. Yeah, we call it a microbiome. I'm sure a lot of people probably have heard that, and it refers to all the microorganisms that are on the host or in the host. And where we talk about it the most is in the gut. We call that the microbiome. And it's all the different flora, all the different bacteria, and everything that keep that gut going and keep your digestion of everything that comes through that hose uh, working properly. Well, dysbiosis means that the gut flora is imbalanced. So what happens is we have prebiotics. So when we eat things like asparagus or bananas or berries or onions, they're very fibrous. And so that's a prebiotic. So what happens is that actually makes it through the stomach and through all the enzymes and the acids in there. And it comes through into the intestines as these fibrous strands. But the bacteria in there, the good bacteria, need it because then that's how they make a fermentation almost in the gut so that it can actually break it down and process it. And then you have your probiotics, which is your live bacteria, and people, I'm sure, take a lot of these supplements, things like lactobacilli and bifidiobacteria, and Mm. these are the good bacteria, and they are supposed to keep the bad bacteria in check. But a lot of times we have the bad bacteria will start to take over, and people probably know a lot of the buzzwords, SIBO, which is small intestinal bacterial infection, or candida, which is where it's a yeast or a fungus that kind of takes over. And the problem with them is they produce a neurotoxin. So I want you to hear that, a neurotoxin. Remember, neuro means brain, Mm, right? So they produce this toxin into the gut that then makes it back to the brain and causes inflammation in the brain, triggering Mm. depression, memory issues, all kinds of problems. Wow. So at one point, we could be getting less serotonin uptake because 95% of those receptors are in the gut. Mm -hmm. And then we also could have this neurotoxin or brain toxin that's also acting against us. Yep. Wow. Well, for people, before we go too deep, I keep thinking, oh, my gosh, there's so much I want to talk about. But there are people that have never heard of, Lynn, you know, your work before, and they're like, well, this this is amazing. What does she do, and what is her story? So, you know, with all of this being on the table, let's jump in a little bit to your life and your story and, and what you do. So for people unaware, give them the rundown, Lynn. How did you jump in and start opening up to this amazing field of being a medical intuitive? Years and years ago, my best friend's grandmother fell ill, and uh, back then I meditated to be able to communicate with the body, and I certainly didn't do it at the, the level that I do now. But she said, you know, Lynn, can you please see what's wrong with my grandma because we don't want to lose her. And so I went into meditation, and I woke up 750 miles away in her, um, in her hospital room. And I sat there and I said, I said, Baba, what's wrong with you? Your family's very worried. And she took this deep breath and it was like I was sitting in a chair next to her and I turned to vapor and she just breathed me in and I would go through the nervous system and she'd spit me back out into the chair and then she'd breathe again and then I'd go through the cardiovascular system and she'd spit me out and put me back in the chair. So we went through all the 12 body systems 
And when we were done, you know, she had given me, here's what the two problems were, here's, here were the tests that were supposed to be run to prove it. And I said my goodbyes, and I woke up, it was like four hours later in my house in Georgia, and I had like an entire notebook of notes that I didn't even remember writing or anything. And so I called her up and I told her, you know, what was wrong, and her mother went to the doctors, and, you know, the doctors didn't really want to run these tests. They didn't see where they were applicable, but she pretty much twisted their arms and made them do it, and sure enough, it, it, it was true. Both tests came out positive, and that was what she had, and unfortunately, she still ended up passing a few days later, but it was almost like she needed them to know what was wrong, you know? And yeah. once once they knew, then it was like everybody came to peace with it and, and she passed peacefully. But to be honest with you, you know, that kind of blew my socks off for a while and I kind of just put it on a shelf <laughs> because it was kind of like that was a crazy experience that I hadn't had before. And then it just became kind of a life's mission to, okay, so how do, how do I turn this into something that, that I can actually help people with? Uh, is this something that I can expand on and work with? So, you know, for the last 30 years it's just been – kind of honing this skill. Hello and welcome. This is Jerry Sparzande, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now daily where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're gonna to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one -on -one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join, and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, Click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.